Welcome back to the second segment of Finer with Age. We are happy to have today Kay Williams and Jerry Williams Lawrence with us. Both Jerry and Kay are writers, and they have honored their late father's request to finish his novel, One Last Dance. This book was just published in September. Welcome, Jerry and Kay. Thank so you. Nice to have nice, you with nice us. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Yes, <laughs> thank you. And tell us about your father's request. Well, it was a, an end of life uh, request, really. Um, he'd been suffering from all kinds of illnesses. He was not, not going to be 95. Actually, he had, was 95. and Started the book at 92. Okay, started the book at 92. And he had multiple pneumonia, uh, probably carried it with him chronically after a while. He had asthma. Um, he had two sinus surgeries, a hip replacement, and eventually went blind from macular degeneration. So he kept working well, I was on the say, book. He kept working on his book, yes, didn't he? he How did. wonderful. How and, wonderful. And um, he wrote other books, too, didn't he? Right, yes. right. His first book was Maud, oh, 1883 okay. to 1993. She grew up with the country. Um, his mother, our grandmother, lived to be 110. And, oh, my goodness. Um, after my mom died, we said, yes. we've got to keep you busy. Why don't you write down some of the family stories? And he started it. It was going to be 50 pages, and it turned into 335 pages and a book. By the time my writer's group <laughs> heard the first 10 pages, they loved it. They wanted more, more detail. So he spent two years writing, and writing that it, was and then the he went on book? tour with it. And, and that was Maud? Right, that was Maud, oh, his what first fun. book. And even colleges, uh, after he had died, uh, I think there were several colleges in Ohio that had... Uh, adopted it as a supplementary text, and um, so that was sort of thrilling for us, and oh, would have been for him. I and he got the so. Ohio Anna Award posthumously, the, their first one after he died. So those were two things he didn't know had happened. It had happened. Well, that certainly is wonderful to be recognized by Ohio Anna, and I, I hope many of our viewers recognize that important piece of Ohio, yes. the Ohio Anna Library, mm -hmm. which exactly. treasures and saves and compiles all of the writings of Ohio writers mm -hmm. and many of the works of poets as well. So he's going to be there forever for all of us to know about. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so Maud was about your grandmother. Right, who lived to be 110. He paralleled her life with the emergence of modernized America. So it's a history book as well. Well, you know, but he put a it's human, a human, human, put a human face on history. Oh, how wonderful. Well, no wonder the colleges are using it. It might be something we should read, too, just to review our own history, right? <laughs> well, it makes yes. you feel pretty proud, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, yes, yes. And then One Last Dance. Tell us about this. Who's the heroine of this? They're the dancing people? Well, uh, Dad said the book was about two old duffers trying to stay out of a retirement center. But really, okay. it ends up being uh, a book primarily about the importance of relationships, no matter how old you are. There are three major characters, Morgan and Dixie, who are like 90 and 80, and then a younger um, person that you think is going to be a villain, but actually isn't. <laughs> and so anyway, these three characters are represented. And it really it covers uh, the importance of relationships, uh, what happens to youth at risk. It covers uh, you know, the problems that the aging have with their physical ailments, and then also how do you find uh, reputable and um, good health care. Mm -hmm. uh, it's done in a humorous way. That's what is very <laughs> important. That's My dad had part. a great wit. Uh, I mean, there's yeah. some scary parts and very moving parts, mm -hmm. but he wanted to do it as humorously as possible. You said in the first book that your writer's group took a look at that. Did they take a look at this one also? Exactly, <laughs> after Jerry and I figured out what we were going to do oh. after he died. Mm -hmm. I bet they were a big help, weren't they? Well, they were. <laughs> it, it was interesting um, because they would see certain things that, of course, you're, you know, you're sort of like you can't see the forest for the trees when you're working so intricately with everything. And at one point, one of the group said, oh, I just love Jiggs, and Jiggs is the little dog. And so Jiggs began to become more important in the uh, <laughs> oh, manuscript. Okay. And we finished the manuscript, and we're giving it to some people to read. Uh, someone said, well, you know, Morgan at first doesn't seem very nice. He's rather irascible, and I wasn't sure I even liked him or could trust him. Because they have a, f a big fight in front of Whispering Pines Retirement Center because they collide and he's very upset. <laughs> 
but but anyway, <laughs> so we mellowed him, you know, made him a little more likable, and that made a difference in the way the novel began, and probably the way a reader approaches well, that's true. Morgan. Because mm -hmm. if readers don't catch Connect. on, like mm -hmm. the first four pages, mm -hmm. the book is closed mm -hmm. and forget it. Mm -hmm. Well, that was nice to have people read it and give you those suggestions as well, so that it would be something that would get wider distribution. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. you're going about doing that right now, aren't yeah. you? Yes. Mm -hmm. We just launched our tour at mm -hmm. a bookstore, and we had an overwhelming number of people come. It was really exciting. Oh, and goodness. How wonderful. <laughs> And so you're going to be doing that for a while now around Ohio or greater than Ohio? Uh, well, we, we're starting in Ohio and we go over it to Indiana for one uh, Mitchell's mm -hmm. bookstore over there, but it's basically in Ohio, uh, actually like uh, the northwest, um, southwest area. And um, then there'll be some retirement centers or, you know, like assisted mm -hmm. living centers who will conjoin with bookstores. And we have a program that we do. We did about 30 minutes for Westerville Retirement Center, but 20 minutes for, because Dad lived there, about 20 minutes for okay. the other. Okay. Well, that's going to be an exciting thing for you to be doing, too. And it builds on your writer's background, doesn't it? Yes. 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 It does. So have you written other books yourselves? Well, I have, I have a book that I vetted with my writer's group. Uh, a suspense novel about the theater since I worked for a long time as an actress. And uh, it's making the rounds of New York publishers now. It hasn't been picked up yet. I'm hoping that it will soon. It's Jerry excellent. loves it. It's <laughs> so that's your writing background, right. acting and writing. Right. And you were a teacher? Yes, I taught English and composition for 30 years to high school students. Definitely an intense experience. <laughs> I had lots of uh, experience editing and uh, dealt with uh, this. Uh, oh, after I retired, I did some tutoring and edited some dissertations and helped with um, uh, some um, fiction also. I've not written my own. Uh, but she should. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you find the most challenging part of this adventure of finishing your father's last book? I think to keep his voice and not to impose our own voice on it or our style uh, and to try to keep his sense of humor. Keep his sense of humor. What a wonderful thing to do. Was, so what was the most rewarding part of doing this? Seeing the book in its finished uh, <laughs> form and then uh, I guess hearing um, ni very nice comments from people, um, some people who knew Dad said they could sense him in the pages as they read, and they could certainly see his sense of humor. <laughs> and that's one thing you certainly stressed you wanted to make sure was in there. And we got some great reviews so far, so that those are people who didn't know Dad, or us. <laughs> or you. Oh, wow, well, it's been just a wonderful opportunity then. And do you have a website or some place that our readers, or our readers, our viewers, that we hope will become your readers, <laughs> that our viewers could find out more about you or where you might be appearing or your book yeah. sales? Uh, www.calliopepress.com, <clears throat> Calliope Press, all one word. Okay. And our book signings are listed there and more about the book, more about the author. And uh, the other books that he's written Book discussion too. questions. Oh, good. For a book they're class? Bound, right. They're bound into this hard copy also. It has a lot of great discussions, very discussable oh, book. I'm sure it must be, and I can see groups all over the state getting ready to start reading the new book. Many of them read a book a month. Good. I know. So this will be something. One last dance. This is absolutely wonderful. And we so appreciated your coming and sharing this with us today. I sense your father's twinkles in your eyes. <laughs> and well, we think he would be very proud. <laughs> yes, we do. And very happy, I think, with the finish. I and, hope. Well, how do you think he would feel about how you finished it, the very ending? Well, you know, when he dictated, he dictated the last 11 chapters because he was blind. So I transcribed them, and he had notes. We better expand here or there. And then there was something he said, uh, I think we ought to have a big party here to try to jog Morgan a little bit out of his lethargy. <laughs> and that was when we had trouble fitting it in where he said. But then the ending of the book, how was it going to end? 
And that celebration that he thought about seemed like the perfect ending. And of course, it became a very, very big celebration. Because well, he wanted the happy that's ending. That's what he wanted. And we're going to have to have a happy ending right now, too, because <laughs> we've come to the end of our program. But this has been so much fun to get to meet you and learn about the book. And I'm sure your father is smiling <laughs> right now on this event. And we hope that our readers have enjoyed this. And if you'd like to know more about this program and other programs, and services available through Ohio's Aging Network, visit us at www.goldenbuckeye.com. And please, be sure to tune in next month. Thank you for watching.